I'm, I'm going to be honest, if I were in the car dealership, this would not be the car I picked to take on a test drive because it has no wheels. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here with more 30 games in 30 days. Today with Mist Survival, another zombie survival game. Still in early access. We'll see what it's got to offer. Let's fire up a new game and see what Mist Survival wants to do to us. Well, after a rather poorly translated story of the basis of the zombie apocalypse, which centers around fog, I believe, hence the title Mist Survival, we are greeted with our very first tutorial about fatigue and stamina. Stamina regeneration rate will slow down when fatigue value is low. Two rays to cover fatigue, sleep, or rest. Got it. Let's make you go away and see what we can actually do here. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got our, well, I'm gonna call it a base. It's basically just a bunch of leaves on some sticks under a sleeping bag. We can rest here, we can shelter command, or we can destroy the structure. Well, what does shelter command give us? What does basic shelter give us? Not a lot. We've got the floor, build, building permission manager. Sorry, I, I gotta call it like I see it. Get, get a better your language to English translator when you're building a game. I'm sorry, just that there, there are translators who can help you with this. Building per permission manager. Checkmark person who has permission to enter the shelter. Well, that's me. It's me. Small house set as base. Excellent. All right, so this is my base. This is what I've got. Ah, a thing. That looks very handy. A saw. I bet that's going to come in useful. And... F to upgrade my inventory. Excellent. Is I inventory? It definitely is. Okay, so I've got a bunch of inventory slots, and I've got my saw that I just picked up. What can I do with that? Can I make, say, a shaped stick used for crafting materials? Probably not, because I don't have any wood. How about food preservation? What can I do with this? Dried meat. I need big animal meat and some salt. All right, that's fair, and that's actually pretty much what you'd need for some dried meat. Basic wooden arrow appears to be my only ammunition at this time. Maybe I learn other crafting things as I'm going along. Uh, tools, just the sleeping bag. All right, and first aid, just some bandages. Okay, so very, very basic stuff here. What's in the case that we could take? Uh, Low-grade fuel. All right, that sounds very handy. Let's drag and drop that. Now, do I have a carry weight? Do I have a carry weight? It doesn't appear that I do. Matches, that'll be super handy. And an apple. All right, well, what's my hunger at right now? My hunger is fine. No reason to eat the apple right at this exact second. So if I kind of get an eyeball on where I am here, let's just start walking in any random direction. Uh, tree. Okay. Now, can I use my saw on the tree? How, how would I use my saw on the tree? The saw seems like I should be able to use that on my tree. Do I have sort of a... Not this inventory, but do I have an inventory of, like, what I have in my hands? How about equipment? Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, great, good. So I can put things on my head, my body, vest armor, quiver. Okay, I think if I understand the intro storyline, I'm pretty much stuck with a bow and arrow. I don't think we're getting guns in this game, to my knowledge. Status, still not showing me what I want. And harvest, not really showing me what I want. So I don't seem to find any way to put the saw in my hand. I'm not seeing that. Now, what if I wanted to, in crafting, say, how about if I wanted to use this? Is there a way for me to use this to maybe get a sharpened stick or even some firewood? I can get, okay, processed wood uses this saw. Good. Okay, fair. I get that. But it looks like I need an axe to cut down wood, to get the logs, to get to the processed wood. All right, fair enough, fair enough. That's That seems, what, what about the usual survival thing? Can I just punch the tree? Yep, sure can. Doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. I'm sure I'd have to punch a tree a lot to make it fall down, and I'd probably cripple myself before I did it. This does not seem to be producing the results that I am looking for. Let's see if anything else. Um, how survivally is this? Can I pick up sticks off the ground? 
that that's a pretty standard tactic. I don't see anything alerting me to pick something up. No, I suppose that was hoping for a little bit much. All right, well, let's just go on a little bit of a walkabout and see what's around here. Looks like we got signs of civilization dead ahead. I can't, it's, is that a jail or a, oh, it's a motel. It clearly says motel on the front of it. All right, it's not a bad looking game. It's not a, and the graphics are pretty good. I don't immediately hate that. I am concerned, and I will tell you right now, I lowered my expectations coming into this game. Oh, open the trunk. What's in the trunk? Oh, all sorts of stuff. A soda and components, which are just sort of generic crafting materials. Metal scrap, that's probably really handy. And antibiotics, that's probably even handier. Excellent. All right, that was a good haul out of that. I lowered my expectations with this game, and I'm going to be very honest as to why I did. I generally don't like to compare games to other games. No, wait a minute. I totally love doing that. I'm sorry. I love comparing games to other games. And after playing Scum, which is has the worst title in the world, but is the most phenomenal survival game I've ever played... This is going to have to do a lot to even come close to this, and I don't think it's going to. I don't have hopes that it will. So I really lowered my expectations with this game coming in after playing Scum, because that thing just blew me out of the water. If you've watched that on 30 Games in 30 Days, you will know my um, passion for that game. I think it's an extraordinarily well-done survival game. Let's see. There doesn't seem to be anything to actually get in this motel. Nothing going on in here. Now, what about this mattress? Can I maybe sleep on that? No. No. I can sleep on the ground, or I can go back to my base. Those seem to be my options. Well, cars seem to be a pretty good loot source. Let's see what's in this trunk. Nothing. Okay, I take it back. Cars are not a good loot source. Well, not that one, anyway. Now, how about this little beater right here? No, can't even get into your trunk. How about yours? No. All right, so those cars are a no-go. Let's try these ones over here. Who decorated the tree with tires? Is that common? Do, do people do that? I've never seen that decoration before. Uh, nothing in this trunk. How about... Okay, there we go. Uh, what do you got? Oh, bottle of water. Well, that's obviously very handy in a survival game. Now, my question is, can we drink from that and refill it? That would be the thing to know. So, nothing in that building. How about the other building here? Anything maybe in the ice machine? Or how about this wood? Can I pick this up? No. No, I can't. Nothing. Nothing's triggering in the ice machine. Couch. No. Okay, not a not a lot of looting to be done. Generally, I maybe I'm just being finicky and picky and expecting the best from everything, but usually in the opening area, I'm going to expect to get a fair bit of loot just to get me started. I mean, I would assume this is kind of a somewhat tutorial phase. There's more of those components. Now, oh, here's a question. Do those stack? Okay. Well, apparently they do, and apparently I've got seven of them. I must have picked up groups of two. Okay, um, so I've got seven components. I wonder if there's... In a second, I'll just check to see if, with all the stuff I've picked up, if there's anything I can do with those things that I've got. I did get some metal scraps. Maybe there's that... Pl oh, I, I, I hear something. I hear, I, I hear zombies. I hear zombies. I was... Oh, they, they sound wicked close. Wicked close. I'm, I'm going to hide in the bathroom. Because I, I have my fists and nothing else. I was under the impression, reading the badly translated intro text, that they were only active at night or in the mist, in the fog. It is neither of those right now. They're, they're, they're right outside somewhere. They're, they're right outside somewhere. Okay, what do I do? I have no weapon. No weapon at all. And, I mean, if I'm reading the inventory screen correctly, and I'm not sure that I am, if we go back to here and look at equipment, yes, I see the quiver. Yes, I can see we have a bow and arrow, but do we not get melee? 
Is there no... Can I, can I just not pick up a 2x4 and start hitting some zombies with it? They must be right upstairs in that room. They're, they're up in 201. I'll, I'll guarantee you that. They're up in 201. And you know what? Obviously, I'm going to... Can I see... Oh, yeah. They're right in there. I can see them through the window. I can see them right in the window. Um, there's at least two. They don't seem to see me, which is good. Now, what's my... Oh, and there's a big blood stain going into that room. Yeah, that, that should have been my first clue. Well, my first clue was seeing the zombies through the window. My second clue was the big blood stain going into the room. Now, what is my risk-reward ratio here? I mean, my risk is very high. Very high. I'm not... I, this is the intro area. I don't think I'm equipped. I'm effectively naked and have no weapons. I'm not equipped to take on two, maybe more zombies, because it sounded like a lot of zombies. And they keep going in and out of the bathroom. Am I gonna am I gonna pop the door on this place and see what happens? I still I only see the two. I only see the two. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's let's test drive this. Hi guys! Oh there's three. There's three. And they're fast. They're very fast. Punch. Punch. Punch the zombie. Uh they're punching way faster than I am. Wait and I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Well, Let's see what happens when we revive. Apparently, I'm going to lose some item from my inventory, and my camp may be robbed. Oh, well. Well, I lost a lot of item after out of my inventory. I lost tons of stuff out of my inventory. The, the matches, the antibiotics are gone, my food and water, my saw. Okay, that was less handy. But somehow I've managed to crawl back to my base here. I'm very wounded. I'm... Wounded on my arm, wounded on my ankle, and I'm bleeding. But it all apparently is healing, which is nice. So we're going to avoid that room. Now, this will be an interesting... T oh, I'm moving. I think I'm moving more slowly, too. I can't necessarily say that for certain, but I think I'm moving more slowly, which would make sense if my, if my ankle is damaged. That's a nice touch if you did that. Yeah, okay, I'm not bleeding anymore. That's good. I'm very slowly healing my other wounds. So there is at least a passive health regeneration. I suppose I could stand still and go make a sandwich and probably come back and I'd be fine. So if we go back to the hotel, mostly what I want to check is if that door is still open and those guys are still roaming. Now on my way, I found a stick to pick up. So that's good. And a rock. I've got a stick and a rock now. Oh, what? what there's all sorts of stuff on the road here. A leaf. I believe that's actually a component for the sleeping bag. And, and more rocks. Can we throw ro all, the, all Here's where all the loot is. It's in the middle of the road. What moron left loot out here? Nobody's going to look for loot in the middle of the wide open. I'm going to go to car trunks first. I mean, it might be being overly finicky about that. They left the loot in far too obvious a place for me. That was silly. Why would you do that? Put it in a chest or something like normal people. Did I look in this trunk? Uh, either I did or there's nothing in it. Now, I wonder if I can do anything with all those things I just got. Can I, can I craft anything at all? I could make a shaped stick. And I think that eventually makes me arrows, right? Yeah, stick. Yeah, I could make a shaped stick. Less handy than I would like it to be. Uh, I can make lashing so I can make rope if I get way more tree bark and leaves. Now, I wonder if punching the trees was was getting me tree bark and I just didn't notice it on the ground or something like that. I'm going to go punch another tree like an idiot, see what happens. Okay, so punchy punchy, I do see bark coming off. Now, is there is there bark on the ground or anything? Did I put any in my inventory? Uh, metal scraps, metal scraps, no tree bark that I can see. Okay, so I see tree bark coming off of here when I'm punching this but I don't seem to be capturing it in any way. Hmm. All right, well, back to my plan A of going to see if that door is still open. Yep, it sure is. Now, do they go back to their start area so I could maybe sneak by them? There's another leaf. May as well, may as well grab it. May as well grab it. Although, if we're going on inventory slots instead of carry weight, I don't want to be stocked up with leaves then and find out i have no inventory just gonna walk right by these guys just gonna go wait is that my water bottle is that my water bottle up on the railing there it, oh 
Again, risk-reward ratio is terrible. I mean, I want water. There's no question of that. That's clearly my water bottle. Oh, and I think that's my apple. Well, at least I can go back and get my loot. That's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is all my stuff. I'm just going to get my stuff, guys. No, no need for you to come down and investigate. I'm just going to get a couple of my things here, my apple and my matches. I'm going to... I'll probably leave the water bottle for you guys. Enjoy that. I, I got my apple and my matches. I'm good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go slowly cook an apple now. I'll, be, I'll just be on my way. Just going to be on my way here. Anything in this trunk? Not a darn thing. Why aren't people keeping more things in their cars? Oh, I'm moving so slowly with this busted leg. It's taking so long to heal. Darn natural healing. Why don't you move faster? I just want to get to this car so I can see if there's anything in the trunk. Maybe like some more antibiotics. I bet that would go down really well with these wounds. Nope, nothing in that trunk. And I bet nothing in this trunk too. It seems to be a specific model of car that has open trunks. Yeah, nothing in that one either. Kind of what I figured. Any more sticks I should be grabbing at all? Oh, there's a there's an icon over there. Is that an icon I need to go to? Must be. Is that a quest marker of some sort? Okay, well, let's very slowly go over there and see what happens. I'm just crawling over there on my hands and knees. It is a symbol of somebody driving. Okay, well, at least I can open your trunk. Nope, nothing in there. At all. Um, vehicles are supposed to be a thing. They're supposed to be drivable vehicles in this game. Now, this is still early access, so um, I don't know if that's a real thing right now, but I do have open door and F drive. Not, I'm, I'm going to be honest, if I were in the car dealership, this would not be the car I picked to take on a test drive because it has no wheels. But, if you're going to give me an opportunity to try and drive it, I'll do it. Yeah, it's actually literally in the ground. It is part of the tarmac. And I also, pressing F is doing nothing right now. So I think, I think vehicles are coming in this game to the best of my knowledge, but they don't certainly don't seem to be available right now. And this car is in the ground. I'm, I'm not going to take that car. I might, might go get one of these cars. Now see, these cars up here... Have the, have the icon on them, and they look a lot more viable. Let me crawl my way over there and see if I can drive any of these. Now, well, found another soda in this trunk, so that'll be good. But yes, my concern about carry slots versus carry capacity is coming to fruition. I might have to dump the leaves in favor of something more valuable because I'm running out of pockets, basically. Uh, I don't need to open the door. The door is already open. House over there we could be checking. Check this trunk. Ah, more antibiotics. Excellent. And duct tape. Everybody's favorite classic survival element is back. Duct tape. You just can't make a game without duct tape. Again, um, although it has the drive icon, I'm going to say this car also does not look viable. I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe my problem was I wasn't actually in the driver's seat the last time. No. No, I hear a chicken. I hear a chicken. I hear a chicken. I don't see a chicken, but I hear a chicken. Okay, I'm going to go with um, not a viable vehicle. And I'm probably not going to try and crawl my way up to that next one because it's probably going to be more of the same is my best guess. I'd kind of like to find out where the chicken is now. That's way more interesting than a busted up car. And any building like this looks like a good opportunity for some loot. Now, what is that icon? What is... Oh, it's my little base icon. Oh, can I make this my base? Can I make this my base? That'd be neat. That looks way better than a lean-to in a sleeping bag. Um, yeah, how about I... Uh, how, about I how about I do that? Yeah, give me shelter. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's trying to click on the door and the shelter command at the same time. Okay. Yes, open the shelter command, please. Permission, me. Me. I. Yes, thank you. That's what I want. Manage room by click green space. Okay, what does that mean? Player can change base shelter by pressing set as base. Okay, I can definitely do that. Watch me do it. Set as base. 
Small house set as base. Manage room by click green space. I see no green space, sir. I, I see no green space. I'm clicking all over the place. I don't see anything that's green. Okay, floor. No. All right, you know what? I'm just going in my new house. Just just give me a... Give, no, don't punch the door, you moron. Oh, I see an axe. I see an axe right there. I don't hate that part. I'm just kind of... kind of. Gr oh, see, now this has a little cross swords melee thing going on. Okay, how do I equip this? Because I just got it. What do I do with it? Well, despite being labeled with a crossed swords, which is clearly saying to me melee weapon, I don't seem to find any way to equip this in my hand. It does say it can be used to cut trees and bushes. Nobody is surprised by that. But I'm going to tell you, zombie versus axe, axe commonly wins. I do notice my hunger and thirst are actually getting down rather aggressively. So let's just eat my apple that I reclaimed from the zombies at the motel. That boosts my hunger up. And how about we... uh drink this soda here that should help with my thirst quite a bit actually that that maxes out my thirst okay well anything in these lockers oh i can move this oh there we go there we go i can theoretically move this i'm not sure where it doesn't actually seem okay i can rotate it okay i'm i'm okay with this part it's a little a little clunky, I'm not going to lie. It, it, I have very little control left as to how far this thing is moving. But I'm not opposed to some good settlement building here. Yeah, go ahead and place it. Yeah, that's fine. It can, You know what? It can just live right there. Is there anything in here? No, not at all. But I could put things in here, like my leaves. That would be handy. I should put my leaves in here. I'm going to do that. So the leaves are going to live in here with the rocks. I'm going to keep the sticks, but I'm going to put some of the metal scraps in there. And that's good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep everything else, especially the duct tape. Can't can't walk outside in the survival game without duct tape. Any other parts of this house that I should be aware of? No, this is very very empty and singularly floored. I wonder, do I get to build stuff? Can I like build this table? Can I really flesh this out, sort of Fallout 4 settlement style? Because I'd be okay with that. If that was the, the direction this game wanted to take me in, I, I would not be opposed to that. So if I go up to this tree now... No, I'm still hitting... I'm still punching it. I'm still punching this. Okay, um... Back to this. Back to this. How do we... I have an axe. Five minutes. Do it. Uh, make it. Do something. I, I know there's a way I'm doing this. I, there's got to be a there's got to be something that I'm doing wrong here. Clearly, there's something I'm doing wrong because I'm not creating firewood. I have the, I have the thing I need. It clearly says craft time. How about if we come out of here? Can we just sort of click on the tree? No, no. If I bang my head into the tree, does that help? It doesn't seem to help. It's less effective than I would like it to be. Back to this again. Let me just mess around with this for a couple of seconds. Uh, never mind, never mind. I was fooling around with the crafting menu and a zombie surprised me. So, inventory screen is not pause. Inventory screen is not pausing the game. Uh, welcome to my number one pet peeve in any game. Any game at all. Yeah, I lost all my stuff. I'm, 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 you know what, I'm broadly okay with that. I couldn't figure out how to use it anyway. But at least I'm back at my new house. In which there's probably a zombie right outside the door. Oh, because it's misty out now. And you can see them moving. Okay. So, um, inventory screen is not... You know what? I'm just going to close the door. Close the door on the zombies. Maybe peek at them through the window. Oh, barrier dur durability. Huh. So I can build up... I mean, it says durability strong. I feel a zombie could easily get through this, but... What do I know? So I can build up my defenses and bar the windows and put planks over everything. Good. Good. I don't dislike this part at all. I, I wish I knew how to do it, but I don't dislike it. That's a nice little twist. It's sort of a combo base building zombie fighting game. Um, but yeah, my, my number one pet peeve is... Oh, oh, uh, close the door. Can they open doors? Apparently not. But they can bust through that like a champ. Yeah, durability strong my butt. 
uh, punch him. Hi. Oh, you're in my house. You're in my house. I'm going to punch your arm. It's like we're shaking hands. It's like we're fist bumping, but more bloody. Although I seem to have you stuck in the window, so right now I'm just going to keep punching you and hoping you can't un unfree yourself. No, no, there he is. Keep punching him. I think I'm punching the window. I'm definitely punching the window. Yeah, now I'm punching him because I see blood. Uh, okay, just, I guess, just keep punching. Uh, oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got the guy. Uh, and he has salt on him. I don't think I want zombie salt, but I know that that's for the dried meat thing. 12 gauge ammo. More salt. More salt. Um, my window's broken. M my window's broken. I, I need a hammer. I, I don't own a hammer. All right, so, um, despite this saying durability of 100%, zombies can smash through that like nobody's business at all. So that's a factor I'm going to need to keep in mind, and I think I just basically need to hide in my house until this mist is over. And that's probably my best move, because I can just sort of sit here and wait for my injuries to self-heal and hopefully try and figure out how to use the axe, because that's the logical next step, because now I need wood to reseal my window, and maybe I can do something even better to it as well. They don't seem to be able to open doors, which is nice, but they can bust right through that window. So I need wood to repair that, which means I need to figure out how to use the axe, and that seems to be completely befuddling me. I'm probably doing something horribly wrong. Yeah, he's right outside the door. I can see him moving out there. He's right outside the door. Um, I'm going to go hide in the other room. 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 There we go. There we oh, oh wait, did the mist go away? Wow, that mist just shoots away, doesn't it? Boy, that is not a uh, that is not a subtle thing. It's misty, or it is not. Now, is he still outside the door? Hello, zombie. And where's my stuff? If I died right there, shouldn't my stuff be right there? It wasn't the motel. And what is this? Is this like a water thing? That looks like a water thing. Yeah, I can see the rocks, game. I can see the rocks. I want to know about the water thing. I am moving so slowly with my busted leg. Come on. Come on. Get to the water thing. Water barrel. Yay. Interact. Sure. Any water in there? Uh, give water or take water. Okay. Do you have any water for me to take? No, you have zero out of 100 liters. But it's safe. Huh. I don't know, it's like a rain barrel kind of thing? Cause I, well, you know what? You know what? It, it'll all work itself out. I really need to focus on the wood aspect of, of what's going on here. Because I do not see any way to chop down these trees. Oh! That's all my stuff. I don't know how it got all the way out here, but there's my duct tape. There's my duct tape. How, how did he get it all the way out here? Whatever. Okay, I've made some progress in the crafting department in that I know how to make a stick now. So this is exactly what I thought it was. I was clicking in the right place, which is clicking along the left-hand side here. So if we, I went out and got some branches off the ground and I can make a stick and there's my stick. So it is definitely clicking along the left-hand side here. The problem is I don't have logs because I can't figure out how to chop a tree down and logs are the seem to be the very, very base component in what we're doing here. I need logs to do anything at all. Anything at all, really. So I'm, I'm a little bit stuck. I just flat out don't know how to cut a tree down, and I feel like a moron, and I'm sure somebody who is way better at Miss Survival than I am is going to come on and say, you complete and utter idiot, here's how you cut a tree down with the axe that you have in your inventory. But... I'm kind of disinclined to sit here clicking through things and figuring it out. So we'll call it on Miss Survival for 30 games in 30 days. Am I overjoyed with this? Eh, it's it's a little... It's got some interesting aspects. I, I kind of see the Fallout-esque settlement building that might be achievable somewhere in this game, but... Overall, it's kind of samey-samey, and again, comparing one game to another game, if you're talking survival game, you're going to look at Scum right now. You're going to look at Scum and go, that is the most hyper-realistic, accurate, real-world sensibility survival game, and this, Miss Survival, is, I, I just got to say, it's yet another zombie survival game. 
it's kind of cut and paste. Maybe there's some interesting elements with the base building, but I'm not sure the game is going to hold my attention long enough for me to find them. So if you love Miss Survival, let me know, and I'll continue to take a look at it. Otherwise, it'll live on 30 games in 30 days from the wee hours. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Um, Johnny, you can shoot a thing three times with your pistol now, and I'd like to talk to you about that. I would like to have a discussion with you, Johnny, about shooting something three times with your pistol. Specifically, that thing.